we were to now build and deploy this, we wouldn't be able to access these endpoints at all um, from our machine. We did open up some holes on the kind config, but what we haven't done yet is defined a service configuration for the networking side of what's happening inside and outside the cluster. So look, if I were to push this to you right now, in fact, I'm gonna put this back to 4,000, okay? I'm gonna put this back to 4,000. I've already killed running this. I'm gonna put this back to 4,000. Remember, I got ahead of myself yesterday by asking the kind cluster or the kind environment to just open up all these ports. It, it won't matter yet. And what I want you to notice is that we can't access these endpoints just yet from our local machine into the cluster. We haven't added a service definition yet, which is all for the networking side of things. So once we get this pushed, there it is. Everybody pull it down. Are you having a hard time pulling things down as I am having a hard time pushing? Good. So now what I want everybody to do is a make dev update. Let's just update this service and deploy it into the cluster. Now, sometimes this status gets stuck like this. See how it got it for me got stuck and I'll just restart it. I don't know why that happens, but sometimes it happens. Um, and now it's running again. And now if I come back here and I change this to port 4,000, oh, I shouldn't have been able to see that. Maybe Kind is doing some really special magic, but I shouldn't have been able to see that. So I don't know why that is working at all. Let's pretend that didn't work because that shouldn't have worked because we haven't set up any networking information yet, which we need to do. So let's do the following now. Now that you have this up and running, that really shouldn't have worked unless this, I really don't know why that's working. Let's go ahead and get back into some YAML that we need to run. All right. So I'm gonna go back now into our Zarf, our Kubernetes base. And what you're gonna see now at the bottom, actually there's a few things that we have to do. I'm really confused that any of that worked. We're gonna to have to add these, this port information to our base YAML to start. So let's go into our base here. You can see that I put this information right after the service name. All right. I'm gonna add the other port as well, which we're gonna be adding very soon, just to have it. So what I'm saying here now, I'm telling Kubernetes, is that this service is going to have two ports that it's going to be listening on, 3,000 and 4,000, one named the sales API, one named the sales API debug. Um, then what we're going to do is start the beginnings of a service um, definition. There's nothing here because what we really need to do is configure this at an environment um, perspective, but I'm just getting the beginnings of it, which is just the name and the namespace. But you can see this is of kind service. Okay, now that we've added our ports and we've added this, I'm gonna come back to dev. And now in the dev environment for sales, let's open this up a little bit. You're gonna see that I have a file here that's called dev patch for the service definition. Dev patch service. And in fact, in the customization, we're gonna add that also as a patch. So now we're gonna patch in our service information here. Now, remember we need the selectors and the namespace, so 
So customize can do its stuff. I'm using cluster IP as the type here for the networking. And then you can see here, I'm defining this port. It's gonna be 3000 and it's gonna map to that target port of 3000 on the inside. So essentially what we're saying here is the following. Let me go back to the whiteboard. Here's our cluster. We've got this pod running here. So what our service definition is trying to do is say the following. We've got our sales service running in here and it's, it's listening on port, let's say 3000 and 4000, all right? What we're now doing with the service definition is telling Kubernetes that we're, we're gonna be accepting traffic on 3000 and 4000 on the outside and map it to those ports on the inside. That's what we're doing. What it also does is it sets up some, I'm gonna call it like DNS naming conventions on the inside as well. So we have like DNS resolution. In fact, I want you to look at a couple things here. For the service, it's called sales API in the sales system, all right? Sales API in the sales system. Now, and this is the cool part for anything that we're doing on the inside of our cluster. So eventually when we have pod to pod communication, thanks to that service definition, we'll be able to access any service running in any pod using this naming convention here. So in our case, local cluster service sales system, which is the, the namespace, and then this first piece is gonna be the name of the service definition. What this will do is allow us to have pod to pod communications or service to service communications inside the cluster across these pods using this sort of DNS naming resolution here. And then the port like you see here. So eventually we'll run the database as a pod inside the cluster and we'll access that using that same sort of naming convention. So that service definition is important because not only does it define for Kubernetes what we're doing here, it will also give us a name, a DNS, say resolution name, so we can access these pods um, in a very consistent way. It's pretty cool stuff. And then I don't know why Oops, I don't know why or how, honestly, um, Kind got us all the way through there without these definitions, uh, but you saw it as much as I did, so wild to me. I know in the past that has not worked, so I don't know what, they're, what magic they're doing, but we need this here. Okay, and again, just like you could do anywhere, we could decide that these ports are different as opposed to the inside ports. I'm just keeping everything the same. Now, we've got this service definition here. We've got the, the base of it. I've declared what the ports are that we're listening to. I've given it names. I've come back to the patch. I'm using the names in the deployment um, definition. Here is the target ports for that service, so they bind. And so now, if we save this, we should be able to apply it without any issues. And now we'll have that. Now, anytime I make a change to any YAML, I get super nervous. So I always run customize first manually. Let me make sure I do that. Cool, it didn't fail. So I know there's the ports information. There's the service definition coming in. So that didn't fail. It means I'm gonna be free to, to run that. So. Let me add that new file. Let me do that commit. Let me do that push. And while that's pushing, um, I'll clean this up a little bit over here. Cool. We now have our service definition, which sets up some basic networking that we need inside the cluster. We've got our local namespacing inside the cluster. 
Thanks to the kind config ports, we've opened things up all the way through. And I'm gonna, what we're gonna have to do now is a make dev update apply once this push finishes. We're gonna wanna rebuild the software and we're gonna wanna just apply the new service definitions now to Kubernetes so it's all there.